When it came to building roofs in our sustainable house, we've experimented a lot. We've used techniques like a Catalan vault, a Rotak dome, a wooden beam, a filler slab, and a madras roof. Now, a madras roof is called a madras roof because it sort of originated in Tamil Nadu. And I believe that it was one of the first roofs that uh, was made after you know people started moving from the conventional thatched roof and tried to make a more pakka structure for themselves. The British definitely had quite an influence in that transition and in making this roof which is called the madras roof. Now typically the madras roof is made with uh, three materials. One is the wood which is used as rafters. The second is a brick tile. Not a brick but a brick tile. And the third is mortar. And that's all it takes to put this roof together. For starters, the wooden rafters are placed along the width of the room, about 18 to 24 inches apart. Now, these uh, rafters actually provide the basic framework and the structure for the brick tiles which are placed on top of it. The brick tiles are actually much thinner in size as compared to a brick. They are the same dimension in terms of length and breadth, but in terms of thickness, <coughs> it's only about an inch and a half. So as a result, the tile is very light. It's much lighter than a brick. And the tiles are now placed uh, at a diagonal at about a 45 degree angle you know, to the room, starting from one corner and moving across the span of the room to the other corner. Now you will see that every you know second or third brick is floating in the air but the first and the fourth brick have support from the rafters but magically these uh, um, bricks which are floating in the air also don't fall because the mortar actually sticks them into place pretty quickly and the tile is quite light and therefore doesn't collapse under its own weight. So starting from one edge, you just keep placing the bricks and you make this and it's actually a pretty simple thing to do. Uh, you don't need any uh, sophisticated uh, you know, masonry training to build this, anybody can make it. And traditionally I believe that this was made with brick and a lime mortar, a fairly well matured and you know, a hardy lime uh, mortar, but we didn't have access to that. The lime mortar that we were making actually took a very long time to set and therefore we couldn't use that to uh, build this uh, roof so we did use cement because that uh, you know results in instant adhesion and uh, that's what is needed in the case uh, of making a, you know, a roof like this. So uh, simple rafters, uh, brick tiles and mortar and you can just start off from one end and finish on the other. It has no steel, it has no shuttering, it takes about two to two and a half days to make a room of you know about 12 by 18 span and uh, probably has a life of 100 years or more 
uh, and looks absolutely beautiful aesthetically. To finish off the roof, you put a thin layer of uh, mortar with some gravel in it on top of it and then provide the appropriate slopes for water drainage and finally finish it off with any uh, you know, brick tile that uh, you might want to. In our case, we've actually used uh, paved tiles which are reflective bike tiles uh, which help to keep the room cooler. And it's a flat roof so you can build another floor on top of it. So I hope you uh, learned something new today about the Madras roof and uh, enjoyed seeing it uh, in our house. Uh, next time you are building a house you can think of doing something sustainable in terms of your roofing systems and give the Madras roof a try at least in one of your rooms. So, so much from me today, I've got to go and do subscribe to our playlist called Sustainable House, watch the other videos and let me know what you think. So, uh, this is Manisha signing off and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.